Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly. Thank you so much for watching. And this is another what's in my bag video. But better than that, um, it's a review as well. This is the Tory Burch McGraw slouchy bag. Um, and it's debatably a pink leather. It depends on the lighting. But on the website, um, you could find this listed under sand. Um, in person, people tell me this is like a very light beige, um, kind of vanilla tan color. So, I actually really love this. This is my very first Tory Burch bag. It has the two, um, you could call these top handles, short handles, um, and this is an entire full leather handbag. It does come with, um, the over the shoulder strap which I rarely use it but I do use it that's why I keep it um hooked here and um so let me see guys but here's the entire handbag is super cute it does have the Tory Burch um signature label or logo here in the front and it's in leather as well it is raised um, it does have gold hardware and the only place that you have hardware is on the um, Guys Charles is acting up as usual. Sorry. It has the gold hardware here on the clasp to open You know take this um, Show over the shoulder strap or crossbody strap off and then it has gold on the ring of course And then it has gold for the zipper. So that's the only place that you're gonna find gold um, on this handbag so you could wear this um, with whatever you want and you didn't have to wear worry it with it as far as far as metals you could mix and match um, so full leather here and um, there's no feet on the bottom let me show you guys the bottom of it there's no feet at all I don't know what's going on with my Charles. He's, he's been really getting on my nerves for quite a few days. I don't know if it's the cold weather because it gets really cold here at night. And then it's really warm throughout the day. But anytime he knows I'm up, then he's been doing this for like a week. Comment down below if you have a King Charles Spaniel. Because um, they are mommy babies for sure. Okay, so then it has this tassel that... Um, hangs down here in the front it's like a little purse charm if you want to call it that a little decoration it's really cute i normally don't go for handbags that have this tassel i don't really care for it but um it's fine it's not bothering me so i don't care okay let's get into what's in this handbag it does have a double zip closure like um there's two pull tabs i actually really like that um my handbag is not super neat in here I'm just showing you guys real quick what it's looking like in there um, it does have so in the side pocket it has one interior zip pocket there's no slip pockets so you really do need to have some things um, organized like in, in maybe like a pouche accessoire or several cosmetic bags um, if you want to keep things neat and tidy and again this is a Tory Burch handbag Debatably, it comes off and it has been um, displayed online as a pink leather, but it is on ToryBirch.com listed as the color sand. And debatably, this handbag is between $450 to $475 um, regular price or, you know, without the sale before any sales or discounts. I actually found this handbag, um, this was my birthday um, gift last month in September. It was in Macy's Backstage at our Linux Square Mall, and it had been reduced to $179, so that was a great deal. Here is the first thing that's in my handbag. It is my Teddy Baker um, sunglasses. I got these out of Notion Mat. You guys have been seeing me wear these a lot. Um, if you watch any of my shorts videos, any videos for um, the last week or so, then you have seen me wear these. So I got these out of Nordstrom Rack. I got a great deal. Um, 
Then the next thing I have is my um, spray sanitizer by Bath & Body Works. It's the Twisted Peppermint. If it's not the Twisted Peppermint, because I do have more than one, um, I had another one that was like um, champagne, honey, um, something like that. I don't really want to do the name of it. Um, I do keep Listerine in my purse. I actually had picked this up on one of the last trips I went on. And um, I just kept it in there. It's really been good to me. So after I finished eating, I could just rinse my mouth. This is that long chomp. Um, I've showed you guys this before. This is the long chomp um, zippy bag that I have. And I keep my electronics. Ooh, let me see. I keep my electronics in here. So there's like a, um, a USB cord. There's earbuds in there. There's like an outlet plug for the um, wall. Stuff like that. I do have a miniature Dove deodorant in here the spray deodorant the travel size um i do have a bottle of water i picked this up either at lexus or at um porsche both of them have their um, own water i believe this is the lexus water but i'm not sure um then i have this um little mesh bag of sample perfumes the ladies made for me at the Macy's Fine Fragrance um, counter. This is like Burberry samples. I will tell you guys that Burberry for her, that smells really good. It grew on me. And Jadora um, has a new Jadora fragrance that smells wonderful. This is that Estee Lauder hand cream I told you guys I would not repurchase and I don't recommend it. I'm almost finished using that. Um, it's really, really thick. So if you need, if you're a person that likes emollient creams, then you might want to pick it up. It's uh, normally sixty dollars, or you could get it as a free gift when Estee Lauder's in gift. Um, so let me see, guys. Here's my miniature Lysol spray, per size Lysol spray, and then um, in this zipper side pocket, I have my um, Michael Kors. Um, card holders and I have several of them that I've been having for years. Um, I'm very much looking forward to upgrading um, my um, card holder life because I've been having these. When I tell y'all for years, I've been using these same card holders. I'm, I know for every bit of like five years. I'm not even exaggerating. I also have these alcohol pad. Um, I always keep lots of alcohol pads with me. Especially since I'm touching a lot of things, then I need to constantly wipe surfaces and um, wipe my hands, sanitize, and stuff like that. One thing that's cool about this interior pocket is that it has the Tory Burch um, plate right there. If you know me, I love the plates, the main plates. Um, that's one of my favorite things. If I was to buy something with Michael Kors, I prefer to have the plate rather than the letters. Um, Prada as well, I'd rather have the symbol like that's just what I like. I like the plates. Okay, guys. So here is this Kills um, Dry Body Oil. It's a spray oil. This is really good. Um, you can spray that in, over your entire body. It really makes a difference. I have a sanitary napkin um, that I get those from Sam's Club. They're 100% cotton, hypoallergenic. I do highly recommend. They sell them for about $26, $28 per box, and it's like $192 in there. So I only have to buy that box like once a year. Here's my Tiger Balm. I keep this with me if my throat starts bothering me, if I feel congested, if my nose feels weird, I will um, put that on my neck and nose right away. I don't let things get strong. I don't like, like let things build up. Here's my Michael Kors mini wallet. I showed you guys this in my small leather goods video um, as well as my handbag video. It's a handbag collection. I've had this for a while. I got this out of Macy's backstage as well. And I really like it. I put all my coins in here. And then it opens up. I showed you guys how it works. I only paid $25 for that, mind you. Regular price was $100. I found it in Macy's backstage. It was $24.99. And it has really... I've been using this nonstop ever since I bought it like two years ago. Um, and pretty much everything I have in my purse, I found like a sale for it. Even the Michael Kors card holders, I think I only paid like $14 for those at the most. Here's my Orbitz Peppermint Gum. 
um, you just push it open and then if you hurt your gum I'm running out and it has gum on both sides so you don't have to feel like oh it, it's really cute it's really cute and it has a lot of gum in there I did peppermint I actually started liking the spearmint flavor now I have another sanitary napkin I'm not going to really show that before I have um, Kleenex the little facial tissues in the pack in here um, I do have a body mist. I think this is Japanese cherry blossom. Smells so good. That's from Bath and Body Works as well. And when I get those little gift cards in the mail from me, it's a free gift. That's what I tend to buy. Either the body mist for your purse, the sanitizing spray, um, or I'll get... They have bars of soap as well, and I'll buy one of those. Get it for the free gift. Here's these um, green tea facial wipes that I got out of Macy's Backstage. I really love these. FYI, you can actually use, use these for your personal areas and it's very hydrating. Um, and it will help. I've noticed that it helps with um, making your skin softer and with the appearance. So you can use this in your private areas as well. And these came in a pack of three for $5.99 out of the Macy's Backstage. I showed you guys a haul when I went to Fort Lauderdale and I went in their Macy's Backstage store. If you want to see everything I got out of there, um, that's the video to watch. And let me see guys. Okay, so the next, the last thing I have in here, okay, well, I'm almost done that fast, is this Juicy Couture. Um, I use this for my cosmetic bag. You really can use it for whatever you want. It has a functional slip pocket here. I showed you guys this. It, I do have earbuds in this front pocket. And um, I actually, this is like in a pink and tan color or pink and peanut butter brown. That's what it was described to me as. In here, I just have like tons of things. I have um, this tropical lip balm that I, another YouTuber suggested. Um, um, I have the Chanel um, lip gloss and icing that Miss Toya recommended. I actually really love that. I like this. This tropical lip balm has grown on me. Initially, I didn't care for it that much, but I use it when I um, use that wet lipstick that dries. I forget what you call that wet lipstick. But I just got one called Lip Lingerie by NYX, and I did a clip of that if you want to see what it looks like. But I put that on. Let me see. Let me show y'all again. Hopefully, I didn't drop it out. I put this on first as my base and then I put the lip color on top and then when right before it's almost dry I put another layer but in the inside of my lip so it could kind of like smooth in. I do have these Visine drops my eyes have been super dry lately and um, I do normally keep like an eye gel with me I cannot find it so I'm going to have to go pick up another eye gel from Target today. But I just have Visine in here. I have um, this NYX Lip Lingerie. I do want to try that raspberry color. I told you guys that in another video. Um, I have some lip colors by MAC Oh Baby. I have um, the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm in here. I have um, Neosporin Creamy. Super important. I have that in here. Um, I mean, you name it, it's in here, guys. I have sanitizers. I have hand lotions from, um, the Hilton from just different times I've stayed. And, um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else in here that you guys would really want to know about? I actually did a video showing you guys what's in my, um, in my Juicy Couture cosmetic bag. Now, I will tell you guys, you could use this as a clutch. It does have a slip pocket back here where you could slide your cell phone. And I showed you guys in that video that it actually fits in here. Charles is getting outrageous. And then um, I did show you guys too. There's like slip. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys. And then I did show you guys in here that there are some slip pockets in here um, where you could put credit cards. And so let me see. Yeah, it's on this side of the cosmetic case. So perfectly y'all can see in here really good. And um, so you could use this. It's a multi-function bag for sure. So 
Yeah, that's what I have in this handbag. Okay, so let's start putting stuff back in here. Um, so let me show you guys what it looks like kind of empty because I do have like a couple of straggling receipts or whatever. But I absolutely love these videos. Oh, look, I found, I found um, a penny or something. So this is what the bag looks like empty now. This bag is pretty large. Um, I actually went in the Saks store here over the weekend to show you guys, I mean, to get a feel for um, what the Celine and the Givenchy bag, the Antigona Givenchy Antigona bag and the mini luggage by Celine. They um, had a mini luggage in there that was for repair. And um, so I got to check that out. I was super excited about that. Y'all, I know you guys are looking like, whoa, all of that came out of her purse. Yes, all of this came out of my purse, and it's about to go back in here. So, anyway, um, I got to see what the micro luggage by Celine looked like. I got to see um, what the mini luggage was like. I got to see what the Givenchy Antigona bag, and I've literally been listening to review videos about those handbags for years on YouTube. I'm talking about years, and I never knew what exactly it looked like. I knew it was kind of like a tote top, a tote style top handle bag, but pretty much other than that, I had no idea. And su surprisingly, you guys, um, and even that Fendi Peekaboo tote that was a really big deal um, a few years ago, and you know, they, that's one of their signature handbags. But this particular year, I'm talking about, it had. Um, it, it came in like that shiny patent leather. So it was like a really big deal. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah. So. I was. Um, I don't know. I just dropped something on this here. I was really surprised. All of them look like the same bag. All of them are pretty much the same. Top handle. Tote handbag. Depending on the size. Um, you could get a crossbody strap that comes with it. The smallest sizes, of course, can with the crossbody strap. Um, and they really reminded me, they put me in the frame of mind of a Marc Jacobs tote. So if you didn't really care, um, if you don't really care, like if you don't have to have quote unquote high end designer, then you really could um, enjoy this bag. And you know, pay a fraction of the price. For example, um, the Antigona was like twenty one fifty, and so were the um, micro luggage and the mini luggage by Celine. It was about the same price. So if you don't really care, um, you could get a Marc Jacobs tote, same look and feel. Um, you know, maybe a different leather quality leather blend or fabric blend and um it's like two hundred dollars like Mark Jacobs has his coat between the smallest to the largest I think one of them is like 150 or 175 and then the next price point is like 225 and I think the highest price point is like 295 I'm pretty sure um, I know they've been having a big deal about them. The bucket bags have been a big deal. And some type of crossbody bag. Um, I like red handbags, especially when the Okay, guys, sorry about that. So, I finished packing my handbag. And like I was saying before, I do love red handbags, depending on the shade of red, especially during the holidays. Um, I just love them. I love red leather. I love red leather interior on vehicles. I love red leather um, chase like couch sectionals. I've had several over the years. I'm probably going to get again um, when I get my new place. So yes, um, but I finished packing this handbag and so um, I end up converting this to a coin um, bag because I have too many coins. I, I have a lot of different wallets. Um, I might do a small leather grid updated um, video for you guys and just show you guys all my little coin purses and things of that nature. Um, 
Louis Vuitton has this key pouch that I had actually wanted. Um, they, it comes in like monogram, 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 uh, Damia Bin and the Damia Zor print. And it's just like a classic zippy, it just zip tops. And then it has the, um, keychain on it. It used to be like $200. I think it's like $325 now, but, um, it's really helpful for me for like change because I do need this bag to put my electronics in here, like my earbuds my airpods my um matter of fact where are my airpods i think that's in another bag matter of fact i'm gonna go check but um my airpods and my um charging ports and USB C three and usb traditional and things like that so anyway guys so it's packed now it gets a lot as you can see there's tons that can fit in here i apologize i do not um i do not coordinate and that's one thing I do love about the ladies. Um, they coordinate, like they have, you know, all, if it's Tory Burch, they have all the Tory Burch accessories to match. You know what I mean? Like Miss Toya, she has all the pink, whatever shade of pink it is. Macaroon, baby pink, soft pink, blush pink. Like whatever the name of the pink is, you know, candy pink and all that. All of everything that's coming out her purse is matching and it's blinging and it's just super cute. Guys, this is definitely something you have to use two hands to do real quick. I'll come right back real quick. I'm going to zip it up. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Anyway, so, um, like I was saying, Miss Toya, I watch Miss Percival, um, LV Lover CC. I still watch her from time to time, but I really just been into, like, Miss Toya, Miss Percival. And then they'll suggest, like, different people's videos to watch, like, um... What is it? Glamit Girl and um, Asha Baby O and um, Dazzle Me 77. Like, it, I'll just watch all those channels and they just coordinate so well. Like, if they have Coach Handbag, they have all the Coach accessories, all the Michael Kors accessories. It's so cute. Me, I'm more so just grab and go. Um, but I think I am going to get more into that um you know especially i've really been enjoying this bag i don't know if this is going to be my winter bag i'm pretty sure it's not going to be i really want like a light caramel um bag this winter or a winter um white that's what i really want so um if i come across it i know ysl had one that's supposed to be really really cute i am going to go in the Saks off fifth clearance store today and i'll take you guys in there with me and we'll see what they have um, but yeah, this is the handbag after I finished packing it. Um, you guys ask me all the time, like, what nail color is this? It's called Cajun Shrimp. Um, it's a reddish pink and they have it in the gel polish. They have it in the SMS. Um, and I just get it every single time, pretty much. It's between this and French manicure at this time. I have French on my toes. I did show you guys in the vlog, in my weekend vlog. Um, the salon that I go to right now is called Sugar Coat. Um, I do like this other nail salon that's called the Nail Bar. I'm starting to notice that they're franchising these nail salons. So it's like several locations, like even in different states. There's a nail bar in, in New Orleans. I did do a little vlog when I was in New Orleans and showed you guys the nail bar there. But they have them here, like Florida, everywhere pretty much. They're popping up like these franchises. But this is the bag. It's really big. It's not, I'm not going to say it's huge. It's a, it's a, for totes, it's a small, but it's a hobo. To me, this is a hobo slash tote. Um, and it is very much the size of like a PM, uh, never full. If you need it, um, just for like comparison or this is like a speedy 30. To me, you could get the same amount of things in your Speedy 30 that you could get in this handbag. Um, I just like that it's structured. It's more structured, like you don't have to worry about it dipping in the bottom because it has that paneling down here. Um, I like that it's carefree. I have squeezed past different things and they've scratched into this handbag and there's still no damage um, to the handbag. Do I wanna keep doing things like that? No, I don't. Um, but this is it. It's full. 
I have a whole bottle of water in here. I already showed you guys. Perfectly, I drink it today. And, um, starting on something else. But this is my handbag. Thank you for watching my What's in My Handbag video. My review is this is, I would repurchase this all day. It's called the Tory Burch McGraw Slouchy Bag. Um, handbag. It's in the color sand. It's debatably a pink leather um, to the eye, different people have told me it looks like a light creamy beige or light beigey tan. Something like that. A mix of like a very light, um, a, like a coffee with a lot of cream in it. That's been like the overall takeaway for the color for this handbag. It's like a light cream with, um, you know, gray hues in it. Um, to a degree and pink I've gotten all those different reviews so I feel like depending on your vision and the lighting you can do a lot with this handbag um I feel like you could wear different sandals with this one different colors like this would be a cute bag that you could wear orange sandals with purple pink white um like you could wear, of course, the light creamy color and you will look real cute. Of course, you could wear tan, peanut butter, you know, shades of brown. Um, I could definitely see that in my mind that and it would look really cute as a handbag shoe, you know, pair combination. So um, leave it down in the comments below if you have this handbag, if you saw this handbag, if you were debating on this handbag, if you're looking for this handbag. Unfortunately, it's not showing up on Tor Birch website anymore, but it is showing up all over Poshmark. Um, people are selling this bag anywhere from $188. I think I even saw actually $170 and up. I'm sorry, I'm rocking, aren't I? Yeah, and so you could definitely get this handbag if you don't care, if you don't mind pre-owned. Um, I'm sure for some of those ladies probably selling brand new with tags because you can get brand new handbags off of Poshmark. So anyway, um, happy Monday and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm doing a weekly vlog. So this is going to be the last week of October weekly vlog. So definitely look out for that. I post when I do full vlog videos now, I post them in the community tab. So you can always um, know what is the latest and greatest. Okay, guys, hugs and kisses.